To me, your discourses feel like an inside deep cleaning. Whatever load of pain, anger or any negative feeling I carry with me when I come into discourse, it has disappeared when I walk out and I feel light and refreshed. Sometimes it doesn't take me long to create another one, but I know it is not going to last longer than the end of the next discourse. When away from you, although I used to meditate every day, things were taking much longer to disappear. Can you comment? Yes, the same thing. Away from me, you were trying to meditate. And that doer was your disturbance. With me, I am not even telling you to meditate. I am just talking to you. And creating a certain atmosphere that meditation happens to you. So while you are here, see the difference between doing and happening. Alone also let it happen. If you become accustomed to my voice, perhaps you can put the tape recorder on Forget about meditation, you just listen and the meditation will come. And slowly, slowly, this coming of meditation can be detached from listening to me. You can sit by the side of the sea and listen to the waves thrashing on the shore. So joyfully, so dancingly they come. And they have been doing that for millennia. And they are not tired yet. Just listen to them. Or sitting under a tree. Just listen the birds. Or the wind blowing through the tree. And it slowly, slowly get rid of listening to. Just sit silently. Because that listening was only a device. This is only a device to help you avoid doing. But the device is only for the beginning. 
soon you have to drop the device and it will be happening anywhere you are and it will cleanse you the same way it does here and remember one thing if it cleans you that does not mean that you have to be careless in collecting the garbage again because you know in meditation it will be cleaned away you are using meditation for a very small job it is not meant for that i have heard it happened in burma after the second world war a small aeroplane was left in the forest because the japanese were surrendering but few stubborn samurais they still wanted to fight so they escaped in the airplane left the airplane in the forest and were hiding somewhere in the forest but a tribe lived there a very ancient tribe which had seen airplanes in the sky but they could not connect it both things that this thing is the air bird as they call it but they tried what it is it has wheels one thing is certain it is a vehicle they used it with two horses as a bullock cart and it was doing well and they were very happy that this is great then somebody who has been to the city he said you don't know this is not a bullock cart it is a car just i don't understand why these wings are there but let me try and he tried and it is started then they started using it as a car and the man suggested that you will need fuel so somebody who goes to city brings fuel no horses no bullocks are needed just fill the fuel and use it as a car and they were immensely happy and then a man who had been in the army passed by and he said what you are doing you are using a small aircraft as a car this can fly 
They could not believe. They said, is it an air bird? They said, yes. And he was a pilot. So he showed them how to fly it. Meditation can be used as a bullock cart and that's how you are using it. Just cleaning the rubbish that you accumulate. But you will accumulate that rubbish every day and you will have to clean it every day. But the meditation is a sky bird. And you are using it for something it is not meant for. It can do that work too. So when it cleanses your burden, be careful not to collect it. What is the need to collect the burden? Just unawareness. And what you collect is all rubbish. You know it, that's why when through meditation it is cleaned away, you feel fresh. So why you destroy your freshness? Don't collect it. And the way is to be more alert, to be more meditative, even while you are doing other things. It is a great defense. It won't allow any rubbish to collect. And slowly, slowly you will be collecting less amount. And one day you will find between two meditations, you have not collected anything. Now the bullock cart can become a motor car. And it is a great distance between the two. Now you don't need the bullocks or the horses to carry it. And it can go faster. Now you have a speed. Otherwise, you can do the same thing every day and you will die the same. And when there is nothing else to cleanse, then the meditation, your energy, it starts rising up. Because there is no work on the ground. You can take off. You can become a bird in the inner sky. Then it will not be only refreshing, it will be growth.
you will be growing, maturing, getting more centered, becoming more individual, and higher you will go, the more and more you will see. New things happening to you, the spring coming to you, and the grass growing all around, the whole life becomes so green so full of juice. You have found the way. Now go on. There is too much to discover. It is your own territory that you have forgotten, your own empire. That you have forgotten, remember it. The remembrance will come also by itself. So what is happening is good but not good enough. Much more is possible. Don't be satisfied with the small things. Unless you have come to a point where you feel absolutely contented, don't disturb. That is the culmination of evolution, where each individual becomes a god.